Anita Colleton and I'm going to be doing a short little video on how to make some autumnal art. Here is some art I made last night with lots of leaves and different things like that stuck on. I did use some magazine cuttings as well um, and all I needed was a bit of board and some glue and a, a paintbrush as well. So what glue I used was this great PVA glue, which is washable, which is great, um, and an old cheap paintbrush, because I don't think the PVA comes out of a paintbrush very well. And I used some mount board, which is the kind of waste product from Picture Framing. Um, so if you go to any picture framing shop, they um, will give you these for very little, and they're, they're great, they're really great. If you don't have them, um, and I know it's hard to get out these days, use some cereal box um, cut up and so as I said I went out on a nature treasure trail and I got some amazing amazing colours that I can use these are just some old ivy some there's some beautiful brown and some oak oak tree leaves there is ooh, there's big, big tree leaves, and I'll show you something I did with them in a minute. They were fantastic. Um, and some amazing colours, really beautiful yellows and things like that. And like we have things like laurels, which I'm not really the biggest fan of laurels generally. And look what colour they turn in autumn. They have these amazing yellows and browns and things like that. This is a, a Leilande. But it has like a kind of a white tip. I think it's called a golden tip lay landing. And I don't know what I'm going to use that for yet. But yeah, I think it's beautiful. These are really amazing. These are just briars. So you want to watch your fingers. If you're going to pick these. Maybe get an adult to help. But these are just briars. And they're the most amazing looking colours. Look at them. Um, beach trees. Fabulous colours. Um, also, just make sure if you are going out on a nature treasure trail, just that you have permission to take um, all these um, bits and pieces if it's not your garden. But um, especially if you're just using leaves and things that have fallen from the trees, I think it's really wonderful. Um, this, as I said, I had done some things with fig tree. I think it kind of looks like a bat. Um, I'll stick some eyes and some ears on the fig tree leaf, cut them up a little bit. Um, and the other thing I picked up was some of these conkers. Can you see? And these are going to be part of my Halloween decorations and I think they're pretty cool. And some of these little conkers we've opened up. And they even just look like little creatures and things like that. So you can get really creative with some Halloween decorations. So now yeah, I'm just going to put the phone back up here. This is my first time making a video, so forgive me. And now I'm going to go down here and see what we're at at the moment. So this picture, as I said that I did last night, I kind of just cut up some magazine bits of magazines and strips and put it on the back. And then I would have put some leaves and things on there. Um, and I just tore the leaves there um, when I was doing this. Um, so it's a different type of effect. At the moment then I said I'd try and do a kind of a mosaic. So I have cut up little bits of leaves. Um, like that and we're just going to do kind of a different one um, so this is I've started doing a little bit um, maybe I should put it this way so you can see better I'll get the hang of it this video thing but um, so down here I was I, I did a few lines uh, across the board as well just to help me kind of guide me make a Bit of a, a landscape feel so whereas the last one was kind of abstract this is kind of going to be a bit landscape and this i loved this leaf because on the back of it, it had these lines that maybe look like 
like a plowed field or something like that. Um, and we have some different ones. There's different backs on it. So you can, you don't have to be too particular. Some more of those with the lines. I was going to do maybe over here um, you can fill that in later as well I was going to do over here I was going to do kind of a you know a red field maybe one that was just plowed so you can see the different colors of the earth you often see different colored fields and I also have some paper there as well so we can we can use paper we can Stick in paper as well as using the lots of leaves but i think the leaves are just the most amazing amazing colors they will change color probably over time so your art won't look the same maybe in two weeks as it does today but i think that's kind of nice to see what happens with it but also if, it, if you don't like it in a while you can just maybe it'll be nice and textured you could paint over it and use it for something else We don't get all this finished. I might post up some photographs later of just different different bits that I did with using these amazing looking leaves. So yeah, we have kind of some browns and it's a real earthy, earthy looking field. Here then we might change it up and do what colour. Because we don't really, if we're doing a landscape, we don't really have blue for a sky. So I was going to um, perhaps just use kind of a yellow type sky. So I might do like an orangey type sun and then imagine that the sky is a bit yellow. So this is how I cut, cut the leaves to different little mosaics. You can just tear them as well. That totally works actually, it's even better. There's a old Japanese tradition of tearing paper, tearing leaves, which I'll be probably coming back to. And again, like I said, I was going to do kind of an orangey sun. a little bit here but you can spend as much time as you want out oh and the other thing i was going to do is you see these here they're just some little leaves and i think they would go really lovely something like that. I might even leave them on the string. Stick them on like that. I have some um there's a, it's nice to get a mixture as well of big leaves and little leaves. These little leaves I think look really 
like if you use them up here. Make little trees in front of you. There. See that? So much, so many different things. So you can start doing your kind of yellow, yellow sky. Then near nearest the sun, it might be a bit stronger color. And what you could do at the end as well is do like a final covering of glue. And that might keep the colors a little bit better for, for longer and keep everything then in place as well. So the sky is definitely going to be very different. Not sure how this is videoing well I'm sure I'll be very um, surprised when I look back on it I might have to do it differently the next time but for now I think this is we're all learning hmm Now, I'm going to leave it for now, I think, and I'm going to finish off this work and maybe post up a picture. Um, what I would absolutely love, um, and because the classes are, are finished uh, for now in the Arts Centre, um, because of COVID, we're doing them online on a Saturday, but um, and we're going to do some of these little videos as well. So what I would really love is if you could, if you do make an attempt, to post up some pictures and... Um, that would be fantastic. We'd love to see your work. That's the best bit that I'm going to miss most. So if you want to post up some pictures of, of, um, of things that you did with all of this, do. Um, and maybe even in Saturday, if you're joining Saturday's art classes, we can, we can have a look at some of your work there as well. That'd be fantastic. Anyway, for now, lovely. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.